with negatives. Um, the best thing I would, I would recommend is when you're looking at this, a lot of times I always like to see maybe if I can rewrite this in a different, um, different order, right? A lot of times we like to change uh, subtraction problems to addition problems. And, but what I would like to do is just maybe rewrite this. We know this is a negative 12 and this is a positive 7, right? So if I just kind of rewrote this, it would be 7 plus negative 12. Well, plus a negative is really just 7 minus 12. That's the same thing. Adding a negative is the same thing as just subtracting. So for me, sometimes it might be easier just to look at this. Well, really, that's, this is just asking 7 minus 12. Well, if I have, and the way I look at, the way I always think of um, frat or negatives is I always think about that money I owe. Anything that's negative is always money that I owe somebody. And positive numbers is always money I have in my pocket. So therefore, if I have $7 in my pocket, and I owe you $12, right? I pay you the $7, how much money do I still owe you? I'm still gonna owe you $5. Make sense? So whenever I'm looking into negative numbers because I'm not gonna have a calculator with me, I always like to think of it in terms of money. Positive numbers is how much